Cameron Wake was a defensive end who played 11 seasons in the NFL and had over 100 career sacks. But his journey from Penn State to the NFL was not a direct one. He had to go through the CFL to get an NFL contract. Cam Wake was born and raised in Maryland and attended high school at DeMatha Catholic, a school that has produced quite a few professional football players over the years. He spent a few years in the linebacker position at Penn State before heading to Canada to try his hand in the Canadian Football League. Wake established his athletic ability at Penn State with his performance. He tallied 191 tackles, 8.5 sacks, and 24 tackles for a loss as a linebacker and defensive end. However, Wake was not drafted in the NFL 2005 draft, but signed with the New York Giants in April of that year. Unfortunately, he was cut before training camp, and Wake decided to look at options outside of the NFL. In 2007, before getting a contract in the CFL, Wake's agent informed him the BC Lions held tryouts at Howard University in Washington, D.C. The campus was a 25-minute drive from Wake's residence. When Wake turned up, none of the athletes at the university's track were there to try out for the CFL. It turned out the Lions held their tryout at Hampton University. Wake made his way to Hampton, Virginia, and promptly impressed the Lions. Lions head coach Wally Buono said that those NFL scouts thought the 6'2", 250-pound Wake was an undersized defensive end and was too big to become a linebacker. All it took was one play during BC Lions rookie camp for Buono to realize that Wake was an undersized defensive end. The Lions gave Wake 24 hours to decide on the $48,000 contract they offered him. He accepted and promptly turned his life around. When Wake's father Alvin went to Canada to watch his son in action several weeks later, Buono boldly proclaimed to him that Cam would play in the NFL in two years' time. This prediction eventually came true. Wake, the player whom NFL scouts labeled a reject, was out to prove his naysayers wrong. When he made the BC Lions roster, he never took the opportunity for granted. Wake settled for the bare minimum while renting out a basement apartment for $460 per month. He rode a $40 purple and black bike to practice daily. In Canada, he switched from linebacker to defensive end. A rejuvenated Wake had an immediate impact with the team, and was named the Defensive Player of the Week for the first week of the 2007 CFL season after a three-sack debut. Had to have another operation in the offseason. Second and ten, here comes Johnson on the rush again, and down goes Damon Allen. Second and six. Allen trying to keep his turf alive, and Wake's got him down again. And Cameron Wake is making quite a CFL debut. Wake shattered expectations in his first season with the Lions with 16 sacks. In addition to those sacks in the 2007 season, he recorded 72 tackles and blocked a field goal. He became the first player in CFL history to be named Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season. In 2008, Wake once again led the CFL in sacks with 23. Wake had 23 sacks by himself. Meanwhile, the Hamilton Tiger Cats that season as a team had 23 sacks. Wake secured another CFL All-Star team selection, and he was a unanimous nomination for the CFL's 2008 Most Outstanding Defensive Player Award. He was also named to the Washington Examiner's CFL All-Decade Team for 2000 through 2009. In an interview with Bleacher Report, Wake said, Football is a passion sport, and if you don't have it, you're not going to do well. You have a lot of people with passion, and you have to direct that passion in the best way possible. It wasn't just football fans that took note of Wake during this time. 17 NFL teams scouted Wake during the 2008 offseason. Miami, St. Louis, New Orleans, Buffalo, and Minnesota all had interest in Wake. He decided to sign with Miami, landing a four-year contract with a $1 million signing bonus. He went on to be a top performer with the Dolphins as well securing a starting position in most of the games he played in. After 10 years with the Dolphins, Wake signed to the Tennessee Titans, only playing a shortened season before being released. 
When asked what he missed about playing in the CFL, Wake said, I think the purity of the game, the reason that everybody played, because there are not $100 million contracts and endorsements, and the business aspect is so much different. Literally, you had most of us playing for $40,000 or $50,000 a season. That's enough that you can go do something nice once in a while. But really, you were playing for the love of the game, not because of the money. You can't replicate that feeling, and it's hard to ignore. Wake had 282 total tackles, 100.5 sacks, 17 passes defensed, 1 interception, 22 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries in 11 NFL seasons. Throughout Wake's 11-year NFL career, he routinely outplayed bigger offensive linemen with his exemplary skills in physics. A player which NFL teams doubted and thought was too small gave the Canadian Football League a chance, and used that success to launch a great NFL career. In his time in the CFL, he had 39 sacks in 36 games. Never forgetting his roots in Canada, Cam Wake was a massive success in both leagues. Watch the quickness of Wake. He takes away the run, jumps up, contains Henry Burris, and then comes back and gets to the tackle. There are not many players in the game that can do what Cameron Wake just did. One, now the Lions dig in. First and goal for the seven. And Burris will be dropped back at the ten. Cameron Wake, the top defensive player in the West. Last year in the Western Final, Cameron Wake had five sacks in that playoff game. Cameron Wake at the top of the line here. He's been working on Ben Archibald for most of the afternoon. This time it's Jeff Pilon and he gets there. 